Good day to you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I want to talk to you about waiting. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So what is waiting on the Lord? Much like we wait in the mundane world, it has some different meanings. Sometimes we are expectantly looking for the Lord to work in our lives. Similar to when we're waiting in line for some service, we are expecting some action to take place. Sometimes we are lingering, holding, waiting for instructions from God, like waiting in service to someone else, waiting for a customer to give us some instructions for us to follow or an order to fulfill. Other times we are abiding in the Lord, just following Him day to day, much like our working day to day, doing our job, following the normal course of life. We work, we eat, we sleep. Also, There are times we are resting in the Lord, pausing for a time to renew ourselves, the same as we rest, sleeping or resting each day as needed to continue our daily work. In this case, the spiritual and mundane are somewhat similar. It helps make the spiritual meaning clearer for us. We do a lot of waiting in life. So why is it so hard to wait upon the Lord? Well, we can be impatient, wanting to take matters into our own hands, at times acting incorrectly or inappropriately in the name of progress, to move forward, to get things going. We also get prideful. We don't need someone else telling us what to do or how to do it. We know best. Why wait? I tend to think of this waiting more as we are preparing ourselves to do the Lord's will. We're waiting for His instructions. We're waiting for His Spirit. We are studying and gathering strength, waiting for the opportunity that God will bring our way. We are lying in wait for a chance to spread the gospel or the love of the Lord. We want to be ready. So we renew our minds and refresh our spirits each day in God's Word. So I want to thank you for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day. May the Lord bless you and keep you safe. And remember, God loves you.